This week's video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, I just ran up the stairs, so I'm out of breath already. Not sure how much we filmed this weekend, but waking up this morning, I feel so incredibly happy. I will insert what we did film here. PVA the brick. Don't they look better now? Now we're gonna hide them. Thankfully, because we were donkeys, and we thought we would do paneling. We have the perfect cutout for this section. So we don't even need to measure or care. We're just gonna use them as templates. So we're gonna get the plasterboard up here, pop these on them, trace around them. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Last bit going in, might need a little bit of a jiggle. Oh, actually, we keep saying last bit, but we have got this one here too. Use all the shapes. I think it looks so much better already, than <laughs> you? Oh, that's way off. Oh no, it's not. They're not in yet, by the way. We haven't sealed them in. Are we shaking it? You've got me filming lots of the plates left, eh? Happy? Happy with it? Is that the shot you're looking for? <laughs> Well, that is way smaller than the other guys. Oh, okay. Getting more confident. Can I have a go? Yep. Yeah. Hold it, don't hold it right on the surface. Hold it like a little bit off. Like this? No, 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 can upright. Like can this? Up. No, upside down. Like this? No. Like this? <laughs> God. <laughs> hold it like that. <laughs> What do you need now? Stripes? Uh, yeah, like... <gasps> can upright. Can upright. No, other way. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. It's so much harder than it looks. Okay. Okay, now you got it. No, okay. <laughs> How do you not like overdo it? Like the pressure's really difficult. Okay, come on, Laura. I think it's the thing, it's tempo. <laughs> Look at mine. <laughs> okay, I think I should do the rest of them. <laughs> same job, right? It does the same job. So we decided to use foam on these because we don't have the depth to batten them. So you basically had no choice. And this is a very easy way of doing it. And while we seal on the boards, I want to say a big thank you to this week's sponsor, Squarespace. So many of you all know they are longtime sponsors of ours who enable us to carry on with these renovations. They are the all-in-one website building platform. I've used them for my business website and also for our wedding website. Their software makes it so easy to have a presence online, whether that's a blog post, an e-commerce website, a wedding website, whatever it may be, they have something for everybody with thousands of award-winning templates to pick from, but also the ability to personalize them to suit you. So if you're interested in starting your own website, you can use my link, which gives you 10% off your first website or domain, but I would highly recommend. Now back to the hallway. Now that's the last one. And it looks so much brighter and fresher in here. It's gonna be a lot less dust as well, so there's a lot of dust on that brick. We have been finishing, we, Royal We, Holly, has been finishing the skirting board. This morning, last piece going in, we've got the plasterer booked in now. So finally, we get a neat and tidy hallway. Does it fit? <laughs> It does, I'll just hide it in the other circuit. It is a bit of a wiggle. Oh, now that is exciting. It's hard to see with these posts here. Ow, I just walked into the wardrobe. Okay. Oh, it looks so much more finished off. Oh, it does, doesn't it? it looks right. Good. Well done. Just need some screws in there and then we're done. Just a very quick update, but this is looking so much brighter this morning and so much more normal. I cleared up yesterday and also scrubbed the floor, interestingly, with bleach, which one of you recommended, to help try and get rid of um, the different wood 
coloring. Sorry, it's fixing on my hand. I don't think we're gonna get, be able to get rid of it completely because, well, it's potentially had hundreds of years of different light exposure, but we're gonna be put, we're actually gonna be carpeting, not all of this, but I imagine having like a runner coming up here and then also doing like a bit of a carpet rug runner on this floor. Anyway, skirting boards on. I didn't do the stairs, so many of you commented being like, can we see the stairs? Are they finished? I couldn't finish the stairs and stain them until we had done this because I want this to be plastered before I perfect the stairs. Obviously, if any plaster then drops onto the stairs, even if we have a drop cloth, it means that I can just sand it off and stain them properly when the whole job's done. Then we can put trim around the window. I've got my spindles, as you guys know. We're setting up the little spray booth. So this should hopefully be done very soon. And all I have been thinking about is putting a garland on these Christmas. This section though looks scary still. I'm just debating whether we pull down all of this plaster, it's the plaster we have here, or whether we try and patch it up. Oh, I just not sure of the right thing to do because it depends on I, I might not have to take off this wallpaper if we just strip the wall obviously there'd be no point and this this is what i hate and this is what i said about the house being not cozy every time we walk down here now it makes such a noise okay that that actually wasn't that noisy <laughs> i feel like since i tidied it up and we've pushed them together it's made it a little bit better but I cannot wait to have the stairs and continue this at some point. This won't be done until this project's finished. So later, later than this bit, but this will be done. So that was really positive for the weekend, a job finished, which is just my favorite thing when you actually get to finish a job. Plaster is booked in. And we also started moving on to the windows, which they're gonna take a lot longer than I think I even imagined. But today, I'm really excited because I have been putting something off for a little while. Today I'm gonna do it. I don't often put off things intentionally, but it's usually when I have to buy something to complete it. And that was the case for this. Basically, I'm gonna make some artwork. And I've been waiting to buy some frames and I finally found some on Amazon. Actually, I've been going a bit crazy with Amazon at the moment. Just find it so good and so convenient and so easy. And I know we should be going into the shops, but when you're busy, it's just nothing like it. And these were such a good price. I think it was three for 17 pounds. I actually ordered them in two colors. So I've got a dark color and a light color. I'll get those out. I also felt like I had to order Ollie some more face washes because this CeraVe one is so good that I've also been using it too when I don't have makeup on. So I always use my balm for when I have makeup and then this for when I don't. A little bit premature, but I'm already thinking about the fact that the room that we're sleeping in at the moment and the bathroom is gonna becoming a spare room and a nice spare bathroom. And so I thought I'd slowly start building things because these bits are a little bit more premium. So I got one of the cow shed shower gels, which are just my favorite. We have three up there, but we've been slowly using them. So I thought I'd get a refill. Well, it's not a refill, is it? It's just a new product. And then our beloved soap. Two things, I wanna put one in our new bathroom and not gonna be whizzing on to a new job, but I talked a little while ago about wanting to make the laundry or the downstairs bathroom a laundry room and move the laundry nook into there. That has kind of been like a little bit sped up in my mind because Ollie now has this humongous electric scooter, which honestly I don't want just like sitting in the living room or the dining room and we don't really have anywhere else to put it. So I think it's gonna go in the laundry nook. Obviously when it doesn't have a washer dryer. We did a lot in the house for the lodger. Now, obviously we couldn't have the washer dryer in the bathroom through there because we had, that was like the lodger space and this door was over there and it was private for them. So now that we have that back, I feel like we might as well because it's really bugs me having to do the washing here because I'm usually taking it outside. So this door just gets in the way. Logistically, it's a bit of a pain to have it in here. It worked perfectly with lodger, but not anymore. And it's really dark, so I don't think you can tell, but it actually goes quite far back, so it would take the scooter fine as well as some coats. So I have been looking at designing a utility room. Let me know if you want to see that soon. It's a little bit creamy, actually, and that's the brown. So 
So, I managed to save some flowers from our wedding and dry them. Logistically, it wasn't the easiest, but I pressed them to begin with and then actually used this Wise Dry, which is basically like flower drying crystals. And I have had them sat in here ever since. I can't wait to see them and see how they actually turned out. But I was hoping to maybe make something with them. I had been drying a lot of our rose petals from the garden, which we did actually use too, but my vision was like a botanical print, a little bit like what we have in the back room. So not putting all the flowers together in like a bouquet type thing, but having a flower or two on each frame. But I just wasn't quite sure how to do it. I'll be honest. So I cannot wait to pop these open and see what it looks like. It's actually really had me thinking over the last few days about artwork and how I really want things on the walls that are memories or they're sentimental or they bring some kind of joy to me. And obviously it's still lovely to pick up something that you just look at and you think that's beautiful. I love that. I want that in my home. But most of the things that we have on our walls right now I, I don't get much from them, <laughs> if I'm really honest. So I'm hoping to add a lot more to the home that just feels like a memory on the wall. Something that you look at and you smile. Now that's just made me even more nervous because I feel a lot of pressure that I hope that these have turned out okay. Also any tips if you've dried flowers before, because one thing that I'm thinking is I don't know whether I should put them onto some special paper in here. Let's see, let's open them up, I just can't wait. So I'm no expert on this, but you can use this gel to actually dry like full 3D flowers. I didn't want that because I wanted to, I knew that I wanted to put them into a frame instead of like a 3D box frame. I, I wanted, I like, I prefer the look of them being flat. So I decided to press them before drying them. Obviously pressing them does also dry them. Yeah, whether it worked or not, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of those games as a kid where you're like looking for a fossil or something. Probably be more gentle than this, actually. <gasps> so that is a lovely sweet pea. Oh, I think that actually looks quite nice. I don't, I think I need a bowl or something to put it in. <laughs> That one is so pretty. So here's how they turned out. I definitely have some favorites, but equally, I don't know which ones. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to use them all. This peony is definitely one of my favorites. I think that is just gorgeous. I really love these. Uh, the sweet peas also work really well. And like this one here, I just think this one's so beautiful. I mean, that one still is a little bit 3D, so you can kind of see how, if you did want them a bit 3D or you wanted them in the box a bit more 3D, you could do that. Um, yeah, anyway, excited to see what I can do with these, although now feeling a little bit apprehensive. I think the cream might be a bit insipid with them. I think the brown probably going to work better and I'm just going to play some on and see I think definitely having a look at this I'm going to need to get some kind of card to put them on I've just been playing around and this is kind of how I imagined it these were just too big for reference I felt like they took up too much of the frame. Kind of beautiful, but not, not the consistent look here that I'm going for for them. I'll obviously keep these for something else, just put them in like a memento book or something. And this sweet little one I really love, but I, I think, I mean, that could go in a little teeny frame on its own, I think. This is probably my favorite. I love that one there. Really like how this one's come together. This is not done. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one. And it may just be a case that I do three or maybe a set of four rather than six if I can't make them work. And on certain ones, I might have to amend them slightly. Like I don't know whether to just cut off this one here so that it just like fits and shapes and they definitely need to be cut here slightly. 
Definitely, definitely they need a different backing board and I'm also wondering whether it would have been nice for them to have a slight border. Even with like maybe a coloured rim. So I'm gonna see see if I can find something, but I'm thrilled with that. And it's obviously a lovely keepsake, but it's also really inexpensive because the flowers were just gonna be put in the bin. So I'm gonna call those free. And the frames I've actually just worked out, they were only £5.60 each. Obviously, you can also get some from um like charity shops and stuff, but I wanted at least six kind of um consistent ones. And it's gonna be a really meaningful piece of art to cost. Hopefully next to nothing. Actually the card and the borders to go in them might cost a bit, but you don't have to get that. It's a lot later. I've been waiting for a parcel to be picked up today. Something arrived broken and it is five to five and it's just been picked up. So I didn't get a chance to go and look for mounts. So I've purchased them online, but I did have another frame that I wanted to pick up and I don't very often find things from like takeaway places or like food bits that I absolutely love but I've become obsessed with a drink from Starbucks and I've been waiting all day for it. You know, when you get something in your mind then you're like, I have to have it. So I'm not ending today without it. I'm gonna wait for all to get home now. I'm gonna go and get the Starbucks and the frame. I'm gonna have to go back and pick up the mounts tomorrow, but I need this drink. Hi, what can I get? Hi, can I get two small cool lime refreshers? Anything that's it, thanks. This is a drink I'm obsessed with, cool lime refresher. If you like like still lemonades, then you'll probably like this. Good morning. This is turning into a bit of a renovation week slash video because I just feel so ready to get a few things finished and because we're learning as we go with the windows, we're kind of figuring out what we need to prioritize and how we need to do them step by step. So I actually do really need to get outside today and strip the last little teeny weeny bit of paint off of them with the paint stripper. I've waited until today because I want to do it outside and it's supposed to be sunny, but it's looking very gray. However, it's super muggy this week. So I've unfortunately had to put the flowers back into the crystals because they were already starting to go a little bit soft. Any advice on that? If I frame them, I guess I'm gonna have to like seal them in with tape so that they're totally like airtight. But will they just go brown? That could have just been a totally epic fail, but the mounts should hopefully be arriving soon and I, I plan to finish them off and hopefully put them up somewhere. Anyway, that's one of the plans for today. And then the second plan is I want to find the spindles for the top of the staircase. And I need to take out all of the nails and just give them a light sand before hopefully. I can paint them. I don't think I'm gonna get around to that today, but hopefully soon. It does not look like the sun's gonna shine today though. On days like this where I find myself doing full days of renovation, I often stop and ask myself, how did I get here? And what am I doing? And is this worth it? And in my one of my last videos, I actually said about how I had started to become a little bit impatient with the renovations. I don't know whether it is something that happens every year or I'm just getting to this itch with the renovations where I want more of them finished off. And with that, I decided to try and seek some help. We don't want somebody who is a big builder in a company or going to be taking over full projects simply because it's not in our price bracket. But I looked out for a handyman and somebody actually got in touch who sounded perfect. So I had him around this week and it's actually made me really think and question everything that we have and are doing. Which may sound very deep, but let me explain. I showed him around the house. He has been in the trade for multiple years and he just turned to me at one point and he said, wow, I, I give it to you guys. You are doing a really amazing job but we would never do it to this level. Which wasn't a total surprise because as DIY is doing it yourself, I think you always wanna do it to the best of the ability. You take much longer than a trade would because it's your baby, it's your home. So although I was aware of that, I'm not quite sure I was aware of the extent. And so I guess that one meeting has really changed my perspective on how we do things and how we both, Ollie and I, can balance our 
perfectionisms with getting everything to a certain standard. Now, I'm not saying that our standards are going to totally slip and we're just going to be bodging every job we do, but I think sensibly thinking about things a little bit more and how we actually achieve and finish a job within a timescale. Let me tell you, that is something that we have not learned in our three years of renovating. And I think the key to this is forecasting before you start that everything takes longer than you think. And also, although I don't quite know how yet, because I'm not great with delegating jobs, it's something that I don't find easy, we will be getting in the handyman to help us with some jobs and move forward with things. Now, the other question that I've been asking myself a lot because of this was, is it worth it? Was it worth it? Because many of you watch my channel because you are renovating or you dream to renovate. And I think it's fair to ask myself that question and let you know how I feel. Honestly, I wish George, our handyman, had come around earlier and made me think these things because my answer probably would be no, it hasn't been worth it. The renovations are, but the time that we put in to doing things to a top standard probably isn't going to be worth it. Financially, we'll probably not get that money back. Because the likelihood is if we want to sell the home in the future, somebody would have bought it even if the shower hasn't been tanked 10 times because they're never going to know. Have I been exceedingly lucky though? Yes, because the renovation has become my job and thankfully to you guys, I get to call it my job and I can't thank you enough for that. Just know that you guys have made this worth it. But I wanted to reassure anybody out there who is having a tough time with a renovation and getting to a point where maybe they're over it, they've had enough, they can't see a light at the end of the tunnel. Because as much of a privilege as it is to be able to renovate your home and to be able to make it your own, it's also really hard work. And that's not just mentally with the finance and the planning and fitting it into your lifestyle, but also physically, physically getting up every weekend and thinking, this is it again. And as much as it is hard, I feel so lucky to physically be able to do what I'm doing, to be able to stand on my feet, work with my hands, think of a job that I want to do and to be able to physically do it. Making those home dreams a reality, living in a space that you have created and you love. And in that respect, it is so, so worth it. And you can thank George, our handyman, for this little segment. End of a productive day, windows are stripping, spindles are sanded. I'm calling it a day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.